Hey out there, friends. In April and May, I was invited to travel to Lyon in France to make this birthday kind of extra special. My beloved longtime friend Jackie sent me this thoughtful gift, and I really wanted to get it on camera. The music box sang happy birthday to me as I played it on the steps of this fortified church. This is footage we shot on one of the most exciting day trips my new French friends took me on. Marie-Pierre Duval and Rémi Patouilleau and I adventured to l'église Saint-Martin-des-Jantes, an historic cathedral listed as one of many historic monuments of France. It's indexed in the Bas Marimi, a database of architectural heritage maintained by the French Ministry of Culture. The cathedral is located in northern France, near the border France shares with Belgium, in Picardy, in the lovely village of Jante, in the Ong region, in Haute de France. Though a typical fortified church with a facade with two towers, the inside walls of the church are quite unique, composed in 1962 by the Dutch-French painter Charles Eck, visual artist and pioneer of the Limburg School, Charles Hubert Eck created wall paintings and frescoes for the interior of the church. <laughs> Art sommelier and friend Marielle Anacuan, another adventurer with us that day, explained the artist Eck, who studied under Russian-French artist Marc Chagall, an early modernist, was asked by the priest to create one piece of art inside the church and, finding inspiration, created religious art on each wall and various parts of the ceiling. As I toured the property, I found it was easy to see Chagall's influence on Eck in these magnificent frescoes. Chagall is known for filling his canvases with color and flair and is revered for pieces like The Birthday, which positively radiates bliss, which I kind of thought might be one of the reasons why Eck was asked to create art within the church. Chagall is also loved for creating backdrops and scenery for the New York Metropolitan Opera's The Triumph of Music in Paris. By contrast, Eck's work at the entrance of Jean has the flair of Chagall, but lacked color. I didn't let this dissuade me, though, and walked toward the arcade where I was pleased to discover Eck's work bursting with color, and reminders that this impressive building has been part of the church for centuries. The gratifying and seemingly strategically located stained glass does serve as a type of brise soleil, but I was struck by how they added brilliant filtered natural color to specific parts of the Lyceum during different times of the day. Thanks for coming along with us today. 